devices disappeared from home assistant. Yeah, it's really bad when you can't open your garage door, turn your lights on. This is what I was getting when I was troubleshooting within home assistant, trying to start the Zigbee to MQTT. Yeah, I actually went in and there was a, a file missing and this was after a recent update to Home Assistant. Um, I don't know, it was February, I don't know, maybe the end of March, last week of March. Starting here, I'm seeing other errors. Um, Zigbee Herdsman, so it's not able to connect to uh, the Zigbee device. I have a network, SNNB. POE device yeah so what I decided was to move Zigbee to MQTT outside of home assistant let's try running it in um, just my my docker server so what I did I created a Zigbee to MQTT folder inside that inside the config I just took the config from Home Assistant and pasted it here. Just paste it straight in. And now um, just gonna grab the uh, the Docker file and just put it in my stack, create a new stack uh, with my other, I don't know, 12 or 13 Docker containers. You know, nothing special, config off of the Zigbee to to MQTT website, paste. Had some formatting issues, so took me a couple minutes to fix those. not the best docker person so it took me a couple minutes I just deleted it and repasted it again correctly um, change time zone I believe I changed the ports also 8180 uh, I had something run on 8080 and started and it ran Took a minute, but then it started. Oh no, I didn't. It didn't start correctly. I had to go in and change the device type for the Zigbee radio. So what I ended up doing is right here, changing the adapter to Ember. That's the only configuration change that I did for moving out of Home Assistant, uh, moving uh, Zigbee to MQT out of Home Assistant into Docker. As you can see, I started up a couple minutes later. I got about three quarters of my devices almost instantly since all the keys were the same um, you'll notice that there is three devices that are hanging off what that is is um, the one or two devices that those were connected to didn't rejoin the Zigbee to MQTT fast enough so I actually had to go in and reset those. Um, you just hold down the button for 10 seconds and boom, everything came back alive. So, not changing the document or uh, changing the configuration, everything was still in Home Assistant. But what changed was they all went to name based, which I couldn't get to work before. Um, I tried probably I don't know, a year ago 
they were all the um, device uh, addresses so uh, all my automations were off of the device addresses but converting it is now off the name so uh, that's better for me I got the freezer in there the dishwasher the, the bathroom fan bathroom light um, this this is probably about 15 20 minutes into the conversion and you can see the OX so the IAAA address is what everything was working off of in home assistant just running um, the Zigbee to MQTT in a docker everything's going off name much faster now now one reason I decided to do this was that this isn't the first time that this has happened to me um, so I decided to do something a little different and one thing you see there was everything is off the IEEE address for my energy monitoring so I just have to go in here and delete them and re-add them as the names so straightforward simple delete re-add Yeah, I forgot to add in the uh, consumption costs, so I'll go back in and add those 0.72. PGE is really high. Their profit margin is something like 40% or something like that. They aren't making enough money. They're gonna increase again. They said they can't pull enough investors making a trillion dollars or some some outrageous number I know that's not right at trading dollars but to me it is a lot of money for me and here you can see my my energy costs coming back in from my monitoring I need to add the um, monitoring clamps for my power box so I can see how much energy my solar is, is making. Right now I can only monitor a few appliances and uh, I want to see more. Um, notice my, my little plugs here updating. Um, some are at 92, some are at 88. That's that's an issue I had with uh, MQTT or Zigbee to MQTT um, in Home Assistant. I could never update all the firmware to the latest greatest. So I'm just going to quickly um, see if I can update the firmware, and it is. Um, it says about, it takes about 22 minutes for. Per device it was actually like 18 um, and I did one two three of them the other two were already updated they updated when I first plugged them in and once I got to the, the third one it wouldn't update it was like the Zigbee to MQT in home assistant was stuck um, for approximately I don't know 18 months or so
And I never really had all those pop-ups when I remembered updating some. Um, my temperature controllers, lines three and four, w uh, one of them came in as a newer firmware 47, and then the other one, which is the attic tank, temp was my original one and it's never upgraded above 0.3 version so there you can see in, in home assistance showing you that it's updating so the MQTT portion is working great now um, and I use the EMQX MQTT works great no issues I have it running in Proxmox so, yeah, no issues. Working great. It's not a lot of work. I think I'm probably, you know, an hour into this, even with updating the uh, uh, the firmware and everything. And that's it. It works.